Hey guys, Penna Daily here, and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda. Second quest in the last episode, we took on level 8 and got a couple of items that will be extremely useful for us in the future. Specifically, the magic wand and the magic key. In today's episode, we're heading into level 4. And level 4, by the way, is right here. So that's kind of nice. Yeah, there's actually a fairy fountain right outside. And that's because if you go through that door to the right, there are bubble, red bubble. If you're going through this place in the quote-unquote standard progression, this is your first run-in with red bubble. If you went to the left, there's a room with a key. We don't need that, so I'm going to just, yeah, let's, let's do this. Okay, dang it, that's totally not in the right place. Um, right, get over here. I wish I didn't even have to kill you, but you know. Really? One more try. I mean, I can kill these, this jerk cor correctly, but there we go. There we go. That takes a good half of his health off, is the thing. And, you know, with with the way these gentlemen go... Creep. Ow. Really? Just, just die. Just, ugh. Oi, that was not fun. Alright. Okay, I might have to use... Oh, crud. Oh, no, I do. I might have to use, um... Let's see. Uh, we'll, we'll see if I can manage to kill these jerks without taking any hits. Mm, come on. Uh, everybody, everybody here I hate. Uh, ha! Uh, okay, that was probably stupidly... Uh, dangerous. Luckily, as far as I know, none of these jerks can come into the door with you the way, actually, wizrobes can. Oh, that's nice. Yes, thank you. Good, good. Just keep going. Uh, dark nuts are annoying, and, I mean, they can be dangerous, especially given how they like to, you know, turn suddenly and without warning. <sighs> Woof. <sighs> there we go. And now we have you. And we do want to kill everybody in here, even though, you know, it's not gonna break the... I mean, yeah, there's no, there's no door, but we get the compass, and the compass is nice. So, now we come up here, and yeah... We're going to go this way, first and foremost. Eventually, Oop. well, that was just that was just poor. Um, eventually, of course, we will go back and do that room. But for right now, let's just okay. Yep, I that's that's one of the worst things about Paul's voice, though, is that they're immune to the boomerang. Because, you know, the boomerang stunning ability is so useful. Ha! Alright, keep moving and keep trying not to die. Press X to not die. Yeah, I do, like, zero punctuation. <laughs> I Some days I wish I could have that kind of um, creativity of phrase. Uh, let's see. There we go. Ow. Okay, that was just... Really. Stop bouncing around and die. Ugh. Okay, so anyway, we come in here. Push this down and say goodbye to the days that the uh, magic wand was, you know, useful as a projectile weapon. That's not true, I mean. But it's, it just, it nerfs it a bit. But that's okay. This is a 100% run. And, okay, let me check my, let me check my notes, i.e. my map. Right, so we are here. That's what I thought. 
Now, here is the first reason that you want... Um, let's see, actually, you know what? There's really no reason to fight those uh, Dark Nuts at all. So we're not going back there. Uh, but if you come through this wall, you come to the reason for the need of a hundred rupees. And you'd better believe I would like more bombs. And then we can come through here. You can't go back down. Once you go through there, you kind of have to be here. And so we get a room full of red dark nuts. Which isn't too bad, like I said. Well, it would be better, though, if I weren't being quite as reckless. There we go. Weirdly, of course, you know, red dark nuts don't give hearts as often, sadly. Okay, if you want to prove me wrong, I mean, yeah, if one of you guys wants to give me a fairy. Eh, yeah, bombs. Uh, there's nothing we can do in here, you know, for we just need to go through. But this should be a clue that bombs are extremely important. So we come through here, and this room is full of blue dark nuts. And if you fight them, you get a key. You don't want... We don't need that at this point in time, so we're just going to... Really? That was just sad. Yeah, so... Now, that we if we go up... We come into a darkened room, which is full of Zol. And that's fairly nice. Because, you know, Zol, Zol drop, drop stuff for us. So we sort of want to be up here, even though there's actually nothing. There's no real reason, and if you're full up on life, I would suggest you just, you know, don't bother. Unless you need bombs. But if you... Really, if you need neither life nor bombs, you know, say forget it and come through here. S checking my notes again. Let's see, okay. We don't, again, uh, if you f kill everybody in this room, you get a key. We don't need the key. Instead, we're going to come up here. And we're going to bomb through here. And then we're going to stay on the bombs because this takes us into a room with a Dodongo. And I probably should have killed him with uh, two bombs and hoped he'd drop a fairy. Because, oi, yeah, this room. And these guys can kill us in about three hits, I believe, so let's be careful. If I take a couple, you know, take a couple hits, I will probably end up using my uh, yep, yep, three hits. One more hit, and I'll use my potion. I mean, if I lose another heart, I will use my potion. Because, good grief, okay. Right, oh, and word to the wise, you cannot use potions in when you're hiding in a door. Sad but true. Okay, so we did that, mostly because I just don't want to die. We're, we're actually pretty a good halfway through the dungeon at this point. So, you know, just try and stay away from these jerks. Just snipe at... <sighs> well, if you can snipe at them, do so. Um, you... Now, while you cannot hurt these guys with the actual... with the, um, the magic blast from the wand, they will... if you hit them with the actual wand, they will die. Because it is sword damage. Thank goodness. Right. <sighs> there we go. Ha! Okay. Just keep moving. Okay, so that one guy's life is gonna be reset, but at least, you know. Just keep moving. Just keep moving. <sighs> I hate blue dark nuts, but then so does everybody. Okay, that was just a jerk move on your part, statue. Keep moving. Keep... Ow! Really? Ah, just... You know. This isn't impossible. You know, it's just annoying. There we 
There we go. Ow. There we go. Just keep hitting them. Sooner or later, they'll die. Oy. Yeah, this is, this is really where things start getting nasty. This isn't the hardest dungeon, but it's, it's one where things start really... Oh, good grief! Just keep, you know, staying out of their way. I do not want to have to use my potion again, because there is going to be another place where we're really, really going to want to have one as an in-case. Come on. Yeah. Stay out of his way, stay out of his way, ha. Ugh. Yes, okay, two left. And I have no idea how many hits are left on either of them, because, you know, these jerks just keep moving. Ugh. <sighs> okay, one jerk left. Stay out of his way. Ow. Yeah, I wish these guys didn't, you know. Thank you, and we get the map. Yeah. Yes, yeah, I think by now you have probably guessed. Yeah, it's a D. All right. So there's nothing we can actually do up here, but, you know, I came up here because of the map. N the map is kind of a thing. <sighs> you know, if, if you're really worried about getting your behind handed to you, which I can't say as I wouldn't be, you know, you can skip that room and just, especially if you know where you're going. Alright, we're going to kill all these jerks because I am not letting one of them kill me. Or hit me even once. Yeah, we get a key. Which obviously we don't need, but hey, you know, it's there if you're doing this in a different order. Okay, we need to bomb through here. And here we see the reason you needed an extra 50 rupees to beat this dungeon. Yeah. To pass on and open that door, you either permanently give up a heart container, or you give him 50 bucks. Yeah, you and and that is the only way into this room. So yeah, you need make sure you have fifty bucks, or you cannot progress. You can back out. I mean, you're not trapped, but you can't proceed. Okay, watch out for those jerkwads, and head up. And now we have our bad guy boss. Yep, it's just a dick dogger. Okay, put that down. Let's see if this works. This is totally not gonna work. Oh, it did. Okay. Oh, thank you. Because, yeah, I mean, yes, yes, the Triforce will fill up your hearts and that's really nice. Guess what? We're not done. After all, we haven't received the dungeon item yet. The only way to get the dungeon item is to come up here. Yes, now luckily we've got, you know, just three of these guys, and this is why you want to have, because of course if you take, grab the Triforce, it would transport you out, and you know, you'd rather not do that just yet, right? Ha! Luckily these guys are red, and so they take a lot. <laughs> Jerk. They take a lot less punishment. Just keep moving on. And... Also, they don't do too much damage. There we go. And then we have this room. Uh, yeah, three Dodongos. Joy and Rapture. <sighs> really? Fine. Really? Okay. Oh, man. I would like to not... Okay, it looks like I'm going to have to do this again. And this is because I just can't stop getting hit by those freaking energy balls. So, right. Back to the bombs. Let's kill these Dodongos. Oh, great. 
Really? Just... Really? There. Okay, you're gonna die. And... You're gonna die. Sure, hit me after I get the heart. Uh, okay, but we don't need bombs anymore, so that's fine. Now we just need to stay alive. Because we get Dark Nuts. And Pole's voice. And the Pole's voice are in some ways the bigger threat here. Because they are erratic in their movements and are not constrained by the walls. As you can see. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, you don't often get t the chance to do that. Do not get anywhere near that door. That door that, on that side of the room, that actually leads out into the room where you got the map. And as you recall, there wasn't a door. So if you go through that door, you have no way back. And that's not good. Ow, jerk. There we go. So instead, you come over here, push that block. Come over here. Okay, yeah, we did get a dungeon item, but this room, had, I forgot. To, <laughs> I managed to forget the book. That's how bad it is. But instead, we get the, uh, what is that thing called? The raft. And the raft is pretty important. Well, minorly important. It, it's useful. Okay, it's how we get to the next dungeon. And it's how we get the last of the overworld heart containers. And since we've only been doing this about 17 minutes, I'm actually going to do that. We're going to go get the magic sword. And then we're going to go get the um, other heart container. And then I'm going to call it a day. Because we're going to be doing even more gambling after this. There's a lot of gambling. So, yes. But of course, as you can see, now we have... Now we have more jerky tech... Oh yeah, if you pay this lady, I think this one you need to pay her 20 bucks. Um, she will say... Um, go up up this mountain. I think it's that much. It's, if you pay her too little, she says that ain't enough to talk. If you pay too much, she'll just say, boy, you're rich. But I don't think this is the one that you can overpay. There is one, there's another one that tells you northwest, southwest in the Forest of Maze. And her, you can definitely, is the one I think you can overpay. Because she, she's got a 50. Now, see this arrow point? A, of course you move that to go get the magic sword. But B, the entrance to level 8 is directly south of that rock. So, now we have the magic sword. And that's very nice. And now we're going to use the, um, thank you, that was weird. We're going to use the whistle to warp to level two. Oh, that worked nicely. And we're gonna go get that last uh, heart piece, or heart container. So, yeah, I mean, we're making some pretty good progress. The next dungeon, of course, is gonna be level five, which is where level four used to be. Yeah, they're all messed up. I have no idea. I think it's hard-coded so that you can, even if the, you know, you beat a level, if you have not, you can't warp to a dungeon you haven't been to, even if it's where, like, you can't warp to level, where level 5 is in this quest, even though it is where level 4 was in the old quest, and you've beaten level 4. I think, you know, they sort of place, overwrite that. So, you know, once you beat level 3 in this quest, you can totally wind up where level 3 was in the first quest. But you, until you actually beat level 3, even if you beat level 2, you can't be warped to where level 2 was in the last quest until you beat level 3 in this quest. If I'm making any sense. I don't know. But, you know, most importantly, we have... 
a grand total of 13 hearts. So next time, so I'm going to go back up to where we started this episode. Uh, you're going to see a lot of episodes start there because, you know, money. So we're going to head back up there and he leave off. Then tomorrow we will make our way to level 5. And after this it's going to be 5, 7, 6, 9. Because level 6 is still evil. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we get to kill Tektites. Jerks. Tektites are still jerks. I should just leave you. I think I will. Okay, yeah, see? No matter how far we get, there's still one P-Hat. So, thank you guys for joining me for Let's Play The Legend of Zelda. I will see you guys next time. Have a great evening. Goodbye. <laughs>